Judge Gorsuch has outstanding legal skills, a brilliant mind, tremendous discipline, and has earned bipartisan support. In naming Judge Neil Gorsuch to the U.S. Supreme Court, President Donald Trump has nominated an admirer of the late Justice Antonin Scalia. Justice Scalia was a lion of the law. Gorsuch is a conservative who is perhaps best known for siding with religious business owners and charities in cases that challenged the contraception coverage mandate of the Affordable Care Act. If confirmed, 49-year-old Gorsuch would be the youngest member on an aging Supreme Court bench. A Colorado native, Gorsuch is known to be an avid outdoorsman and a family man. As my now teenage daughters gleefully remind me, donning a robe does not make me any smarter. But he is no stranger to Washington, D.C. As a teenager, Gorsuch moved to the nation's capital when his mother became administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency under President Ronald Reagan. After graduating from Columbia University, Gorsuch studied at Harvard Law School and later attended the University of Oxford as a Marshall Scholar. Gorsuch began his legal career clerking for U.S. Supreme Court Justices Byron White and Anthony Kennedy, then worked in private practice until 2006, when President George W. Bush nominated him to a vacant Tenth Circuit seat in Denver. He was confirmed with bipartisan support. Throughout his career, Gorsuch wrote a book and several articles opposing the legalization of euthanasia and assisted suicide, and he has been a vocal advocate for judicial humility, a belief that courts should not interfere with the policy-making decisions of the legislative or executive branches. That in our legal order, it is for Congress and not the courts to write new laws. It is the role of judges to apply, not alter, the work of the people's representatives. But he has also been critical of executive overreach. As an originalist, holding the belief that the Constitution should be interpreted as it was adopted, conservatives hope that Gorsuch will fill the shoes of Scalia, who passed away nearly a year ago.